High on bath salts and causing hysteria. Tonight, our first look at a Georgia man apparently crushing a driving range and threatening to eat anybody who got in his way. Police say he had to be pepper sprayed and tased five times. I've never had to encounter somebody that acted like this before, so there's no telling what they may do while they're on high, on their high on this drug. With so many of these cases popping up here in the valley and around the country, we wanted to know more about bath salts, which can have effects similar to cocaine or meth. Tonight, ABC 15's Katie Rammel goes in depth on what addiction looks like. When the rain is blowing in your face. At her request, we won't show her face, but you can still hear her angelic voice, full of life, full of joy, the symbol of her birth. She's got uh, motivation again. She wants, she has a desire to do better. My daughter was also blessed with a beautiful singing voice, and she's now singing again. What stopped the 25-year-old singing was a cruel and powerful drug, deceptively labeled bath salts, that can turn a beautiful song into this devil's screech. It's part of the new and growing danger bath salts pose. Brianna says she spent days awake and hallucinating. It was at the point where I would, uh, my significant other at the time, and I would be at home, and we'd both be freaking out because we would think there were people in the apartment with us. Hallucinations are common with this drug. Tom Garamy is a chemical dependency counselor who's seen up close the effects of bath salts. Euphoria only lasts a few seconds. And then there is a, a period of intense craving to want more. He says in their pure form, bath salts are the drug MDPV, but it's expensive. And to make a profit, dealers cut the drug with whatever they can. We don't know what's in it. So if it's cut with rat poisoning, that's going to create a whole different set of problems than if it's got baby laxative in it. He says he's seen two users whose minds bath salts have destroyed. For Brianna, the path to rehabilitation was potentially worse, an overdose and near-fatal cardiac arrest. I was terrified. Um, I woke up alone in a hospital, handcuffed to a bed. I wasn't allowed to call my family. Um, no one knew where I was. It was at, at that point that I realized if I don't do something, I will die next time. To make you feel my love. There is a 24-hour hotline you can call if you're struggling with addiction or know someone who is struggling. That number on your screen, 1-866-677-7211. That number again, 866-677-7211.